Welcome to the instructional how-to video brought to you by ClearConnects on how to update the firmware and load an application on the Sierra Wireless GL6110. The tool we're going to use is ClearTerminal, brought to you by ClearConnects, an innovative engineering services firm that combines products, services, and strategic partnership to build custom embedded M2M -M devices which allows you to start ahead and finish ahead on any project. I'm going to be updating the firmware using AT commands in the application clear terminal over a serial connection. The firmware for the GL6110 is available from the Sierra Wireless website. I'm going to start by creating some hotkeys that will be useful for this process and in general when working with Sierra Wireless products. The first is AT plus WOPEN equals zero, which will stop the running application. The next is AT plus WD WL, which will start the download process. Next is AT plus CFUN equals 1, which will reset the modem. And last is AT plus WOPEN equals 1, which will restart the application. Now that Clear Terminal is set up, let's check the current firmware version using ATI3. That is an older version of the firmware than I would like, so I'm going to update to a newer version. To do so, I'm going to stop the running application and start the download process. Now I choose the bootloader from the firmware I want from the file system and wait for the download to complete. I will fast forward to the download process. Once the download is finished, I will reset the modem. Now I'll start the download process for the firmware. I will fast forward to the download process. Again, once the download completes, I will reset the modem. Now that it is back up, I will check the firmware version using ATI3 again. The upgrade process was successful. Now I'm going to show you how to load an open AT application into the GL6110. I'm going to demonstrate that process using ClearCom, developed by ClearConnects, a mature, proven, hardware agnostic platform that can be loaded onto any off-the-shelf modem or added to a custom design hardware which can result in cost and time saving. This process is very similar to upgrading the firmware. I'll be making sure the application is not running and then starting the download process. Then I'll choose my application image from the file system and wait for the download to complete. I will fast forward through the download process. When the download finishes, I will reset the module. Wait for it to reboot, then I will start the application. Now we'll check the application version. And see that the download was successful. This concludes our instructional how-to video on Clear Terminal and ClearCom. Please visit us at www.clearconnects.com to stay current on all things ClearConnects.